Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first American Girl unboxing of 2024. I made it a whole month. I made it the entire month of January not buying an American Girl doll. I didn't even buy one for my birthday. Well, technically I did because you're looking at her. So this is 80. She does not have a name yet. I bought her in December or November when I bought Chris his Christmas present. We exchanged presents. Mine is not here yet, but when it arrives, there will be a video. Anyway, we haven't named them yet because they are both 80s and we want them to be twins. So if you guys have any twin names that you think would be cute for our 80s, please leave them down below because we are desperate at this point and we're just really excited. And if I remember, I will leave Chris's unboxing of his present in the description box down below. If I forget, Chris, you're probably gonna watch this yell at me because I want everyone to see your reaction because it was just so fantastic. And I just love, you know, giving my friends stuff. So anyway, in the box is a new Truly Me. We did get some new Truly Me's last week and I was going to buy two of them because I had a $50 rewards, but when you're an adult, you have to put adult priorities before dolls. And I was like, okay, I've got the $50 rewards. I'll just get the one I want the most. And I got her and you guys can probably guess who she is. I don't know if I'll put who she is in the thumbnail or the title just because I kind of like to be mysterious. I don't know, but when I saw this doll, like when I saw the leaked photos, like the Sunday before they were released, I was like, where have you been all my life? I am so obsessed with you. So it was an instant no brainer for me getting this doll. They only released, I think there were five of them. I like four of them. I don't like the one with the colored hair, but you guys probably could have guessed that. Also ignore the lighting. I don't have a curtain in here. You guys know that. And we're not going to complain about the sun because it has not been out for like five weeks and now it's finally out and I feel like a human being again. Also, this is completely unrelated, but I'm telling you anyway, because I know that a majority of you care. There's a new Taylor Swift album coming out on April 19th. If you didn't know, well now you do, but if you didn't know, you're probably like living under a rock or something. So believe me when I tell you, I am so incredibly hyped this year because <laughs> Ariana Grande is releasing an album in March, Taylor in April, and then Lana Del Rey is supposed to be coming out with a new one in fall. That's my holy trinity when it comes to music. So yeah, I just wanted to share with that. Let's share all of that with you. I have tried to film this intro like four times. That shows you how rusty I am from filming. Also, Olivia, Sunday, and Cleo are in here. They're all just chilling. Um, they cannot be in the video because they don't actually jump on the review desk, thank God. But I'm gonna shut up now. I really just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit and tell you some things I've been up to. So let's go ahead and unbox this doll because she just got here. She was supposed to be here yesterday, didn't arrive. I was like, dude, what the heck, Mr. FedEx man? And then she was delivered today with my Chewy package. So everyone celebrated. All the pets got their food delivered and I got a new doll. So let's open her up, shall we? It is Miss 125 and I am zoomed in on her face right now just so we can see it. And then I'll show you the box up close in a moment. But again, when I saw this doll, I was like, where have you been all my life? I wanted that Rapunzel doll from the Disney release, but I didn't like anything about her except her hair. And I was not gonna pay $300 for basically a doll wig. So I waited. And the Lord heard my prayers because he delivered 125 to me. A lot of people are saying she looks like Kira, 83, blah, blah, blah. You guys know I have Kira and 83. Sienna and Vienna, and they are my twins. This doll will not be their triplet. I also, here's a little secret for you all. You know 115, uh, the one that looks like the Taylor Swift doll. I was gonna buy her with this doll, but I just couldn't do it. So I, I need you all to help me because 115 really should be the next doll I purchased from American Girl because I've wanted her for over a year and I just still haven't done it because I'm dumb. But anyway, let's, let's talk about this doll. Let me go ahead and show you her little art on her box because there's also the new meat outfit, which holy crap, they finally gave us a cute meat outfit that people don't hate. So anyway, Look at that beautiful wig. I'm excited. I cannot wait for it. And are her lips okay? Because I've seen ones with bad lips. They look okay, but if you did not know, I am legally blind. So when I review dolls, if something seems a little bit off, don't point out a flaw to me because then I'll see it. And if I can't see it, it's not that bad. But if I can, then it's really bad and it's going to bug me. Anyway, here she is. That's still the same little truly me book but i don't pay attention to those but here's her little meat outfit i am so excited 
Another thing I will say really quickly is when the Truly Me line was revamped and they relaunched it with like those 24 new Truly Me's, I did buy two of them. One I sold, the other one I kept, so I still have 118 um, Kiara. And I was very hesitant to continue buying because of the fact that her wig is very dry. Same with my 102 Charlotte, but Charlotte's isn't as bad as Kiara's. So then they released Cubby and the twins and then Lila. Um, all of those dolls have different names in my collections, but I have to refer to them like that. Otherwise you guys will have no idea who I'm talking about if you are not familiar. All of those dolls, I don't have a problem with their hair, especially Covey and the Twins because they have straight hair. So this one, I'm a little hesitant, but I couldn't not have her in my collection. Her name is already picked out. It was just meant to be. So I'm going to shut up. We're going to open her up and we're all going to cry dramatically. I'm kidding, but you know what? That's just, you know. She is just absolutely adorable. So for those who don't know, she has the Josefina mold and hazel eyes, I do believe. Also, I didn't actually look up what skin tone she has. I think it's the lightest one or it might be the um, second to lightest, but we will compare some of my girls with the different skin tones because I actually did not look on the Wikipedia page, but that's all right. And the outfit, we will definitely be talking about the outfit, don't worry. All right, so I've taken her out of the box. This is a really close-up look of her face. Everything looks fine to me. The eyelashes do not bother me at all. We will take out the hairnet last, so don't worry. So this is the cute little plaid dress. It's got this cute little white collar. I do not like that it has the AG there in red, but it's fine. If you put them in a sweater, you can cover that up. It has these really cute short sleeves. It's very nice. It's very cute. I do like it. You get these knee-high socks and they've got the stripe there, the hot pink stripe to match these hot pink Mary Janes. I wish that these were black and I wish that these didn't have a stripe because it would make these pieces much more versatile, but they're still cute. I always love a good pair of Mary Janes. So the outfit is actually really, really cute and I'm so glad they finally did a new meat outfit because let's be honest, the ones with the relaunch were, they were pretty, pretty bad. All right, the lighting is a little bit better. So now I'm going to pull out the hairnet. Hopefully you guys won't see me because yes, I'm in my pajamas. If you know me, you know I spend 95% of my life in my pajamas because I'm constantly cold. Anyway, this is the most exciting part. Hopefully I can do it and you guys can actually see it happening. And you guys are actually gonna see what it looks like before me. Okay, first impression, her hair does not seem like it feels plasticky or gross like Kiara's. Oh no, it definitely does not. Okay, great. Oh my goodness, my friends. I just took her and I was like holding her and messing with her hair and stuff and holy cow. So her hair does not feel as plasticky or dry on the ends as my 118 does, but I think it's probably because my 118 came from literally the first batch of new Truly Me's. And so I think they probably reworked their formula of like whatever they use to make their wigs. So with that being said, I love her. I think she is Caroline with golden blonde hair. I would get my Caroline to compare them, but I want you all to know my Caroline was second hand, so I cannot recreate her curls. I just can't do it. And has she gone to the doll hospital for a new head yet? No, but we're not going to talk about that. So I think she's absolutely stunning. I will definitely keep up with her curls. I will take much better care of them because she's brand new and I'm more capable of keeping their hair the way it is in the box than I am redoing it, if that makes sense. So if you guys see any of my other dolls with curly hair that I got brand new in the box, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I think I am going to take um, Sienna, my 83, down so we can all look at her. Now I want you guys to know with my vision, it is very hard for me to do compare and contrast videos. Sometimes I can tell the difference, other times I can't. So. I did not make a reaction videos on, uh, I did not make a reaction video on these dolls because I need their face molds and eye colors and everything confirmed for me before I do anything because believe it or not, people have made fun of me for not being able to tell the difference between face molds. And I'm like, do you know that like fully sighted doll collectors still have trouble distinguishing between face molds? I guess not. But anyway, I know you guys always like to see comparisons and I do them for you all. 
because it really doesn't bother me. I tell a lot of people this because they're like, oh, you have Kira and Julie, you have Mary Ellen and Courtney. Like, don't they look the same to you? I'm like, if I can tell them apart, then it's all good. But anyway, I'm going to grab Sienna for right now and then any other dolls I think might actually look like 125 and then we'll talk about them. Here they are side by side. I don't know, but to me, it looks like 83 has like a smaller head. I don't know, does that make sense to any of you? Because I might just be like losing my mind, but for some reason, to me, it looks like Sienna has a smaller head and her eye color, I think it's, hmm, I don't know, you guys gotta tell me. I think it's the same eye color, but I could be wrong. Their hair color is the same. Um, 125 looks a little bit more shiny just because Sienna is old. She's old, she's retired, she's old news. But to me, 125, it's like a different type of Josefina mold. I don't know. And okay, you guys are always interested in eyebrows and eyebrows like don't do anything. So hers are super thin. 125s are feathered. Okay, cool. And then as for skin tone, let's go down. Okay, ma'am. Your hair is excessively long and I really just need to see your arm for this. I think, okay, well, here's my skin tone for anyone that cares. I am like Edward Cullen pale. Um, I think they have the same skin tone and I think it's, hers is the lightest, I know that. So I think they do have, well, see, this is why I don't like doing these videos because everyone's like, oh, just tell us like what you see. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> a little difficult but again i do like doing these videos because i'm telling you guys what i see and how they look so to me it looks like 125 has a bit more of a rounder face and she is taller because let me tell you why my desk is slanted and my floor is slanted so no there's no dramatic height difference it's just because um my house is old <laughs> But um, yeah, this is how they look and she would be a good addition to the triplets, but I don't, the name I have picked out for her and the story I have picked out for her is just totally different than the twins. So they're just gonna stay twins. Maybe she's like their distant cousin or something. But I think I'm gonna grab another doll to compare her to. If I can get Vienna, my Kira, I gotta find her. I don't know where the heck she went. Oh, also the struggle I went through to get Sienna out of where she was she was here next to Kiara and actually Sasha. Yasmin was here. I pull Sienna out. And for the most part, when you pull them out, everything's cool, everything's fine. Occasionally you get a troublemaker. Usually it's Caroline. Today it was Sasha. Sasha decided to come out and then it made Yasmin fall because Yasmin's not really stable anymore because she was taken and done a lot of things with. So um, yeah. This shelf was a fun time. I'm going to put Sienna back and I'm going to go get Vienna. So Vienna's a little different. I think that Truly Me 125 definitely looks a little bit more like Kira Bailey than she does um, one, no, 83. Oh my God. Okay, so again, her eyebrows are Truly Me 83s and then hers are these super fluffy feathered ones. But yes, I can definitely see more similarities here than I can with 125 and 83. But yeah, she definitely looks more like Kira. And let's get Julie just for the fun of it. This is a literal first edition Julie Albright from her release year. So this is my childhood doll. So she's not a Be Forever one or anything. But Julie, see, she's got like marks on her cheeks because she was played with a lot. But anyway, Julie has the straight eyebrows. Her eyes are brown. Um, she, see, she doesn't look... Well, if Kira had her hair down, but she doesn't, and I don't want to take it down because her wig and I have beef. But anyway, um, she doesn't look... 125 just looks, to me, the cutest out of all three of them. And I'm going to be a little bit controversial, but she might take um, 83's place as my favorite Truly Me of all time. I don't know yet, so nobody nobody tell Sienna. Um, nobody tell her. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, here's what she looks like compared to Kira and Julie. I wanted to show you guys her full head of curls like this is just perfect and it I honestly it is so freaking soft you guys it's it's perfect I'm very very pleasantly surprised 
here she is i did go ahead and i put her in this outfit i have the hat and the jacket but i thought it looked a bit too much so i didn't actually go ahead and put that on her and i did pair it with these leah clark little sandals it is really terrible outside right now and i would love to take an introductory photo of her but there's not a good place to do it outside so hopefully i can find some place and still do it because i would absolutely love to and i don't know i don't think i'm sharing the name in this video it'll probably be shared on my Instagram so go ahead and follow me over there it is at kyla.collects and it's always linked in the description as I said I am pleasantly surprised with the quality and the texture of her hair her one flaw is that she does have a little bit of a loose leg so when I held her up to do the limb test it wasn't completely straight but her legs are even so she doesn't have that weird thing where one leg is shorter than the other I absolutely hate that do you guys hate that I hope you do With all of that being said, let me know if you got any of the new Truly Me dolls. And again, leave your twin name suggestions for my AD and my friend's AD because we need their name suggestions because it drives me nuts when I have dolls in my collection that don't have names. But I love her. Absolutely recommend. She is definitely a contender for my favorite Truly Me of all time. Do not tell Sienna. Anyway, I seriously love her. I cannot wait to take pictures with her. Will she be a doll I travel with is a question I'm going to get a lot because she is one of my favorites. I don't travel with Sienna. I don't see myself traveling with her just to keep the curls as intact as possible. That doesn't mean I love them any less. Just means I want to preserve their hair. Anywho, totally recommend her. 10 out of 10. She's amazing. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam, and tap that really cool notification bell so you know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, everybody!